All right, before we get into this video, the channel I think is at 893 subscribers. We are getting really close to 1,000. I do want to hit 1,000 subscribers before Grid Life because if that happens, well, I'll find something cool to do at Grid Life for you guys. I'm not sure. So if you guys are going to Grid Life, come find me in the paddock. Come see the car. Come stand on the wing. Oh. Remember to just share the channel with your friends. Share it around. If you, if you like the videos, please subscribe. Please like them. I want to hit 1,000. That's the next goal. So help me get to 1,000, and I'll keep doing some cool shit for you guys, and we'll find some new stuff to build. So a drift car build is coming soon after Grid Life and after the FC is kind of sorted. What's up guys? Welcome to another video. I spent all of this morning driving to Charlotte and then coming back. I had to go do some stuff for work, but I also had to go pick up some uh, race car parts from my buddy Brad. So Brad is a uh, probably the smartest person I've ever met in my life. He's a fantastic engineer and him and I have been going back and forth for the past two weeks trying to figure out some chassis supports for the wing. And Brad figured those out. So I'm super pumped to show you guys. Let me go grab them. Hey. 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 So these are the supports that Brad has come up with. Um, it is 22.5 inches of 606 aluminum rod. And then we have welded on some ends for uh, our eyelets and then we've got our little chassis mounts here so the idea of the mounts are basically go down here kind of hook up there my goal now is to uh, get these things mounted and see how they're gonna work but the other cool thing that Brad made which was like a surprise little present for me was uh he 3d printed a wrench for the adjustment on the mounts and he 3d printed out of carbon filament which is cool and then there's a few layers of carbon in this wrench and it also says he also put because race car on the sides and then the top is head held high racing so Thank you for knocking these out, Brad. I'm super excited to get them on the car and see how they do. So let's just jump into it and start trying to install these things. What's up guys? We are back to this video. Sorry yesterday's video was interrupted with some uh, impromptu cliff jumping, but we're back. I'm back. We're going to finish the car. So I didn't film a lot because I was cutting a ton, but we had to uh, notch our wing stand here to get basically the clearance to mount this guy. So we've got him notched and we just have to bolt it up to the chassis, and then I've got to clean up. I gotta take a file and clean up all those cuts. But the second one will probably be much better. The first one's a lot of trial and error. So let's get back to that and knock out this first uh, mount. So with uh, these mounts that Brad made up, he got these, we're using some washers that fit inside the little brackets and they're too big. So I need to turn, I need to turn this guy into this guy. So we just have to file down the sides of it, 
and then those things will be good. Perfect. The last washer is filed and you can work on mounting this uh, little bottom mount. So a little update, we got the passenger side chassis mount on. Here it is in all of its glory. These things are so beat. Nothing flexes. I think, I can, I think I'll be able to stand on the wing after this. But these things are fantastic. Just to give you kind of a little bit of... To give you kind of a little bit of build breakdown on this, I can actually put the parts list in the description if you guys want them. But uh, we ended up using... Some clevises, pretty much all, all of this was bought from McMaster and Carr too. So you guys can build these if you want. Um, clevises, big nuts. We took some, uh, the main like body of this is inch diameter, six of, inch diameter, 60, 60, 61 aluminum. And then Brad welded on some uh, basically hex ends for us to put a wrench on. And the back is just your typical uh, like ball joints, heim joints, and then Brad made these little mount guys just out of uh, 60, 61 as well. Um, he just ended up filing them down and used the jigsaw to cut them out. Um, turned out sick, but yeah, these things are super simple. I think the whole like, I think the whole build amount for these things material is like 120 bucks or something like that. So. These are good. So the camera died once again. I really should start charging all my batteries and stuff. But we've got this mount notched out. Looks a hell of a lot better than uh, this questionable guy. But that's notched out. Yo, the crushed ice and the cube ice pieces are about the same size. She all broke another house. It's ridiculous. Stupid fridges. Mm. But. Now I've got to drill, where is it, this hole for our clevis, and then get that guy mounted, and then I can do the bottom mounts, and then we can throw the wing on. You throw the wing on. It's rolling. Sick. Have we ever shot? Did you end up seeing the Savannah sticker on the back here? Hey. Where? Right. Oh, right here. Savannah. Oh, is it actually a Savannah? No. What? What is Savannah even like? Well, I'll just. So Savannah. Wait, wait. James Woods is about to explain what Savannah means on RX Sevens. Here you go, James Woods. Savannah was just the model that they were called, um, and then they switched over to. I think it was the S5s, or one of the years they switched them to Ephany. Mm -hmm. I think it's Ephany. Oh, the E, like F-I-N-I? -I? Yeah. That one? Okay. And then the FDs were Ephany as well, but the FCs were just Savannahs. Just Savannahs. All right. Have we showed my car since we put the wheels on? I don't think so. You want to go show them your car? So we're about to go show you my car since we put the wheels on. I'll keep working on this. While James keeps working on this. The front door's on. The front door's on. I'm already over here. Might as well. So yeah, I got my wheels on like mad long ago. Uh, looks pretty sick. We'll show you James's pile of rocks here. This has been here for months. James, please get rid of this. <laughs> All right. 
So, there she is. It's pretty decent. E. Do you show them your wheels? No. No? Yes. <laughs> Wait, what, like too big or too small? Too small. Oh, okay. So our last mount is temporarily mounted. I've got to get another aluminum plate behind and uh, just kind of space out that metal. Is that the right hole? Yeah, that was the right hole. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna make another plate for like that side, for this side, so I haven't done that yet. I also have to pull these mounts off again and repaint them because they're steel they'll rust but we're just going to throw the wing on and kind of see how it looks and see how it goes So we're about to test how much downforce that this uh, wing can hold. All right, James, will you do the honors? Yup. Let's see. Hmm? Theo? So about one James of downforce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you heard it here first. Dude, these things are sick. There. I love these things. It looks pretty sick. Let's so. see if I can get like a kind of full shot. You lower the hatch like slightly? Yeah, it's gonna drop the hatch completely. Oh, okay. So. I can't tell if you can, yeah, you can see it. It looks good. I especially like it without the rear bumper. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I like it a lot better without the rear bumper. No rear bumper and diffuser. Tell him, guys, tell him to do it. Make him do it. <laughs> No rear bumper. I'm definitely going to cut the rear bumper to see if we can uh, mm -hmm. fit that. To fit that, and we're going to see what it looks like first. Um, just because I like the rear bumper look. I also just like cars with like full body and also just chassis arrow shit. But also, this would look sick if you didn't have a rear bumper and just had like a diffuser going like near them, like yeah. all the way across, you know? First, let me drive with the wing and then we can talk about diffuser. True, true. But shit, dude, we can. Yeah, Hold good. yourself on this. Brad killed it with these mounts. He did. You show him the tool? That yeah, I showed you? him the tool. Shit's sick. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video, I think. Um, got a lot done. We got pretty much our brackets mounted. I can hang on the wing, so that's freaking cool. And it's strong enough. I've got to pull it back apart later. I'm going to repaint. I'm going to paint the brackets, uh, Loctite everything, just get everything back to back to spec where it needs to be torque the uh, mounts down and we'll be gucci so that's gonna be for this video though because it is so damn hot it's already like two one or two i need to edit this i need to get you guys a video you guys haven't had a video in a while and i'm just tired so i'll do that maybe tomorrow maybe another day but we're getting another step closer to grid life so let me know in the comments what you guys think about that wing what you guys think about the supports let me know how you think brad did i think he killed it um, again, it's Brad is like the smartest guy I've ever met in my life. He knows how to build stuff. He knows how to engineer things. And I'm thankful to have those kind of friends because let's face it, I couldn't have done that. I could have tried. Probably it would have been shittier. It like would not have been nice. <laughs> Probably would have done the job, but 
um, it's good to have friends like Brad that uh, that can help you when you need it and are always willing to help you with projects, with cool little projects like that. So maybe you'll build me other stuff. I just gotta pay him. Um, like the video if uh, you guys are surprised I can basically stand on that wing. And uh, drop your comments, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys wanna see next. I'm pretty much in grid life mode, so it's all focused on the FC. I've got a few new things coming for the S2000, but for now, it's all, all hands on deck to finish the FC. So, thank you guys for watching. For a long time subscriber, thank you guys for the support. If you're new, thank you too for the support. If you came from David's channel, thank you guys. Share, with your, share the channel with your friends, help me grow it. We are getting close to a thousand subscribers. I really want to hit a thousand subscribers before Grid Life, because we'll do something cool at Grid Life if we do get a thousand subscribers. So, share the channel. Tell your friends to like it, tell your friends to subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe, and just send the videos all around. And uh, I will see you guys later. Bye, y'all.